Well, it's that time of year again. The time when you and your friends would rush to the store to pick out your costumes and go trick-or-treating. Or maybe just stay in. Watch horror movies, carve pumpkins, and hand out candy to the kids. Today, Halloween is a celebration that brings joy to many, and is personally one of my absolute favorite times of the year. But it wasn't always like this, no. In fact, Halloween has very deep origins. The tradition originated with the 2,000-year-old ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. Samhain was the festival of the dead. Ancestors were honored in Celtic society. This day marked the end of summer, the harvest, and the beginning of the dark, cold winter, a time of year that was often associated with human death. Celts believed that on the night before the new year, the boundary between worlds of the living and the dead became blurred. On the night of October 31st, they celebrated Samhain, when it was believed that the ghosts of the dead returned to Earth. In addition to causing trouble and damaging crops, Celts thought that the presence of otherworldly spirits made it easier for Druids, or Celtic priests, to make predictions about the future. For a people entirely dependent on volatile natural world, these prophecies were an important source of comfort during the long and dark winter. During this time of year, hearth fires in family homes were left to burn out while the harvest was gathered. After the harvest work was complete, celebrants joined with Druid priests to light a community fire using a wheel that would cause friction and spark flames. The wheel was considered a representation of the sun and used along with prayers. During the celebration, the Celts wore costumes typically consisting of animal heads and skins and attempted to tell each other's fortunes. Cattle were sacrificed and participants took a flame from the communal bonfire back to the home to relight the hearth. It was also common to mark the door of your home with the blood of a slaughtered animal, and children would dress as demons to confuse the evil spirits that were believed to be roaming the area at this time. Ancient Celts marked Samhain as the most significant of the four quarterly fire festivals. Early texts present Samhain as a mandatory celebration lasting three days and three nights, where the community was required to show themselves to local kings and chieftains. Failure to participate was believed to be a result in punishment from the gods, usually illness or death. As Christianity gained a foothold in pagan communities, church leaders attempted to reframe Samhain as a Christian celebration. The first attempt was by Pope Boniface in the 5th century. He moved the celebration to May 13th and specified it was a day celebrating saints and martyrs. The fire festivals of October and November, however, did not end with this decree. In the 9th century, Pope Gregory moved the celebration back to the time of the fire festivals, but declared it All Saints Day on November 1st, and All Souls Days would follow on November 2nd. Neither new holiday did away with the pagan aspects of the celebration. October 31st became known as All Hallows Eve, or better known today as Halloween, and contained much of the traditional pagan practices before being adopted in 19th century America through Irish immigrants bringing their traditions across the ocean, including trick-or-treating and carving jack-o'-lanterns. Trick-or-treating is said to have been derived from ancient Irish and Scottish practices in the nights leading up to Samhain. In Ireland, mumming was the practice of putting on costumes, going door to door, and singing songs to the dead, and cakes were given as payment. They would also create jack-o'-lanterns by carving the faces of evil spirits into pumpkins, potatoes, or turnips, lighting them and putting them in their window on Samhain, to scare away any spirits that happened to wander by. Over time, Halloween evolved into a day of activities like trick-or-treating, carving jack-o'-lanterns, festive gatherings, donning costumes, and eating treats. That is a summary of the origin of Halloween. So tell me, what are you doing this Halloween? Let me know in the comments below. Whether you're going trick-or-treating, watching horror movies, carving pumpkins, or just digging into some festive treats. I hope you all have a happy Halloween.